Yes! What's up ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be talking about how you can earn some passive income with your photography and you don't even have to be a real photographer. But first, let's roll the intro. What's up ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Toastox back with another video, I'm happy to see you all today and today we're going to be talking, just as I mentioned, we're going to be talking about how you can earn some passive income with your photography. First of all, we're going to be talking about who you have to be to make this sort of uh, potential, and I'm saying potential because we're going to learn why potential income so you don't have to be a professional photographer you don't need the super coolest camera in the world you can just use your phone and most of the phones nowadays have great cameras they have HDR different apps to edit the photos as well and they come into decent resolutions and size and dynamic ranges so don't you worry about if you're just a fan and enthusiast on Instagram posting your landscape whatever photos bear with me you don't need camera if you have camera cool uh, you can definitely use the camera. Where do you have to go? Where do you have to sign up? Where do you need to log in? And where do you need to upload your photos? There is an app called, you can find it in the App Store, Android, probably iPhone as well. Um, you can find it, it's called I Am. Uh, and it's kind of similar to the Instagram, but there's one very, well, well, I think it's a difference because as far as I know, you can't upload images on Instagram via computer. If I'm mistaken now, write down in the comments, but as far as I know, on the computer you can only view, like and comment, maybe share some images on Instagram, but you can upload only through your mobile device. So I am app allows you to upload uh, images to your phone or computer. So what we're going to do now, we're going to jump into the I am going to show you my profile and I'm going to show you how to upload an image, what to click, where to click and how much to click to actually get uh, to some business slowly going. So, we're gonna go to the new page and we're gonna type I am I -E -M .com and it will automatically open my profile uh, because obviously I have logged in and this is my profile right here. So we're gonna go through uploading process right now. If you wanna go up to the top right corner and there should be a cloud button that says upload click on that there you can click on the uh, on the green button that says select from computer I have my image on desktop uh, which I'm gonna be dragging and, and dropping and this image is I can actually show you the image because I'm recording the screen at the same time as well so this image was taken in a Loch Lomond Lake uh, with my OnePlus 6 uh, phone in HDR and edited in Photoshop Express app in phone as well. So if you want me to make a phone editing picture tutorial, I can definitely do so because I, oops, I feel like I've made one, but that was kind of meh. So I feel like I could make a new one. So this is the picture made by phone, nothing too fancy, just a smartphone. So a uh, few things uh, on this website, on the top right corner, you're going to see that it says discoverability poor and uh, you can see that this photo is still uploading as soon as the photo is going to be uploaded i am is going to be looking at the picture the software is going to try and figure out what does it actually see in the picture and it's going to try and give you some automatic hashtags i say hashtags but in this uh, website they're called tags and it's going to be exactly the same if you're going to do it through the phone you're going to be uploading the image and once the image is uploaded, it will generate automatic uh, tags, for example, and this one, it will probably come up with sky, clouds, water, lake, mountains, nature, and stuff like that. It's going to try and help you as much as possible. And there will be a, a, a button that you can click and automatically add all of those tags to your photo. The maximum amount of tags are 25. Uh, and if you feel like that, I am have missed some uh, tags because for example it will not figure out the picture was taken in Scotland so you can add manually your own tags like phone photography for example I'll do one plus six because obviously the computer is not gonna know 
that uh, this picture was taken with OnePlus 6 but maybe I want to uh, show it into the tag as well and maybe the title of the lake and maybe the country as well. So, my long talking, I was trying to talk as long as possible, finally the processing is done and you see here uh, it found 21 tags, I'm not gonna read through those tags right now, I should actually maybe make the page bigger, can I? Yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go. Um, Yes, and there is this uh, button that you can click Add All. As soon as we click Add All, disco discoverability goes boom up, so it means people can find your photo easy, easier. So we have 21 out of 25. I want to add Scotland. There we go, pops up very easily. I want to add Phone Photography. There we go, almost 10,000 posts with that one. And I'll add one plus. Yes, we have 1.8 thousand on that. So, sometimes this uh, app and website will figure out the location based on the, oops, based on the data from the phone. If you take your picture with the phone just like this time, uh, it figured out the location. Uh, I don't think it's the right location. Maybe it's somewhere around the lake, so I'm gonna leave it. It's not maybe super accurate. If you want, you can always uh, add location manually. And there you can add a little caption, for example, I could say that my first visit at Loch Lomond Lake. Yes, there we go, and a smiley face, for example. Now you scroll all the way down and there's a little thick that you need to tick, add to market. So this will allow your photo to go further to be under a review, to be reviewed if it's eligible, 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 eligible for IM Market. Uh, and I will explain, we're gonna click here, post all photos, it's gonna say, uh, congratulations, success, go to your profile, and you can see the photo here has been uploaded. If you click on the photo, you can see it says under review. So um, I am Market is going to do a review of whether there are any people in the photo, whether there are any private properties and if there's like houses, cars, possibly even animals or humans or models, you're going to have to get them fill online permission that they grant permission for you to sell this image on I am. Well, you're technically not selling image, you're selling a license for someone to download this image and use somewhere else. So I would suggest not to use any models or houses or whatever, just stick with sunrise, sunset, mountains, forests, rivers, lakes, and so on. So how will you know if your photo is eligible for uh, being uh, sold, for the license being sold? You're going to eventually get an email just like this one that I received a few, a few days ago. Your photo is officially on sale. Thanks for uploading this photo. It's been reviewed, approved, and is now available for, for sale on IAM. It may also be distributed to our third-party partners. If so, we'll let you know once it's live on their site. Happy selling. So the third-party companies, I don't know if you, if you have heard one of the world's largest photo, stock, image, selling sites or place markets in the world. It's called Getty Images. So if your photo is exceptionally good or exceptionally great location or whatever, uh, it may end up in Getty uh, Market as well, which is really large and a lot of people will be able to view your image. And uh, there you go. So why I said it's a potential income, income because it's nothing guaranteed because there are so many people uploading there are so many people uploading and there are so many images to choose from that no one says that someone is going to pick necessarily your photo for example i was uploading in my phone in this app these images for about almost eight months and then i was like okay originally i thought that i'm gonna use this app to promote my youtube channel so i ended up posting more photos there but about seven eight months later i got kind of bored and i kind of forgot about this app till one day at work i received an email that my photos license has been sold and i ended up getting like hundred and something dollars and i was like wow that was cool so this is the thing that it's not guaranteed but you're gonna be spending so little time that it doesn't really matter if someone buys a license for your photo because you spend just a little bit of time. 
but if someone does, it's great because you spend just a little bit of time and eventually, passively, you didn't even have to work for it or advertise or whatever, passively, you're gonna get some earnings. So um, I'll be genuine to know what people like, people like money, and I will show you my payout history. So if you go here to the right side and click earnings, you can see my payouts, there's nothing to pay out at the moment, but if I click on payout history, you can see the dates, you can see the amounts of money that I've earned on this website. I haven't been uploading for about a year again, don't know why, I just kind of stopped, so obviously I haven't had any recent, the last one was on the 12th of October and it was only $2, but then again, look, I got on the 20... On October, May, like in September and October in 2016, in a very short time of period, I got over $100 for uploading picture in three minutes and doing nothing at all. So that is how easy it is. I think I could actually show you the photo that has earned me the most of the money because I think most of these payouts are from one image. And I don't know, maybe you like it too? Let me know. I'll try to find it right now. So this is the image that has earned me the most of money. This is a panorama of uh, vertical line images, panorama of a Milky Way. So uh, people have been buying license for this image. Don't know, I mean, I like the image. Maybe they made a blog about something in Astro World or whatever. And it was like, okay, we need a nice picture on top of our uh, blog so oh this is really good one we need to get this one let's get official license and let's use this image so that's how it works and that's what i'm saying it's potential not guaranteed but then again if you think about it you spend just a little bit of time if nothing happens oh well if some if someone buys a license for your image for the amount of time you spend great great so uh, this is just one way of how you can be earning passively money with your photography and it doesn't matter again if you're a photographer or you use your phone or whatever if you just like to go on Sundays for trips to some places and just snap some images make sure you upload them on IM and who knows maybe one day someone's gonna buy a license and gonna use your photo who uh, I'm happy my microphone made a weird noise in the first time of recording this because this was a bit smoother than the first recording. Yeah, I did this once already. So uh, thank you very much for watch watching. Make sure you check around for uh, more of my videos. Hope this was kind of useful. If you want me to do the phone editing, picture editing tutorial, let me know down in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new here and I will see you guys in the next video. And I hope Mike is not making any weird noises this time. Bye.